Welcome, Don, to the Santa Ana College men's basketball game today. We're playing against Rio Hondo College. Uh, my special guest with me today is Jeremiah Moorhead. He is the guard for your Santa Ana Dons. Uh, Jeremiah, I'd like to say thank you for coming on. Um, I know this is a little, <laughs> a little unfortunate situation we have here. Um, so just tell me a little about... Uh, uh, about you guys, about how you guys are looking to prepare against this game. Okay. Um, I want to start off by saying thank you for having me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course, of course. And um, and they've been actually not. Nah, we actually been preparing real hard. We've been running miles every day, going hard in the weight room, and really going hard actually in practice. You know, it might get chippy, you know, some days, but you know, at the end of the day, we all right. teammates and we love each other, you know. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I understand there's um, a sense of brotherhood. You guys are in the locker room and stuff like that, so <laughs> yeah, it's really man. interesting to see how you guys band together. As we can see here, Rio Hondo looking prepared. Um, so let's talk about a little bit about um, Rio Hondo. Um, you guys have played against them before, obviously. As you can see, number three, Ramon Lopez scored the first basket of the game. Yeah, he's been working on that. We see Rio Hondo here playing it slow, methodical, as they tie it up. Shoots a three. Everybody looks very prepared, very up tempo. Riondo with the offensive rebound, defensive rebound. Oh, good D, Taryn. Nice defense by Taryn. Taryn Matthews. Yeah, it looks like Santa Ana prepared. I was looking at, at them earlier today and as well as yesterday. Look, they were very well prepared with their defensive plays. What do you think, in your opinion, is um, something that can uh, really improve the defense for you guys? Talking. Um, the you know, communication is wrong, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, you can be at a certain spot, but if you say one teammate is on a different page than you, then it could just mess up the whole mess up the whole defense, and then right. now the other team has an open spot to get a bucket or you know get a nice pass. Absolutely, absolutely. So we got number one Diamato coming up to the floor. Ellison. Pass to the wings, pulls up the three, misses, grabs the offensive board for Santa Ana College. Looking to space the floor, looking for the open man, pulls up for the floater, floater. misses. Rio Ando pulling up to their end of the court. Passes up, pulls up for the two, misses. Oh, rebound. Defensive rebound by your Santa Ana Dons. Looking for the play here. Pulls up, misses, oh, good rebound grabs the offensive rebound. I like the hustle. The hustle, yeah, indeed. Yeah, the, the physicality, you can see that Don's are playing, looking for the, looking for the open man, mm -hmm. Diamato. Resetting the play, Diamato looking for the at open man. Sets the screen. Tip pass. Oh, good pass. Lopez pulls up for the three, just misses offensive rebound. And Rio Ando comes up with the rebound. It seems like we can't buy a bucket tonight. That's right. Rio Ando looks like pulls up for the three and misses. Great defense. St. Anna rebound. College with the rebound. Fast break up the paint and easy two. That's a good timeout attack. for Rio Ando. This is a great drive by Nick D'Amato. Very good job. Santa Don's leading four to three. Early timeout by this Rio Ando team. It looks like they were struggling a bit 
defensively for the Rio Honda team. Santa Ana coming out with the fast break, applying pressure. So uh, let's uh, talk about a bit of the uh, your goals and your expectations for the 2019-2020 season. Obviously, brand new season. Um, you guys are currently one and two right now. Um, what's kind of give me some of the points uh, your uh, coach Brig uh, discussed with you guys for the season? Um, well, coach preaches togetherness every day. Right. Um, he always wants us to, because uh, you know how we talked about earlier about our brotherhood. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. If we don't trust, uh, if we can't trust. If if we can't trust each other on the floor, then it's kind of hard to you know get things done as a unit. Right. Absolutely, absolutely. Our goal is a championship, and we can't get there individually. We had to get there as one team. Absolutely. And as we're back from this timeout, getting ready to play Rio Ondo with the possession. Oh, with a couple subs: number fifteen, Aaron Olson, and number two, Sean Gibbons. Some fresh legs in for Santa Ana Don. See Rio Ando here. Very great hustle players. Very good hustle players. Playing it slower now. Slower pace, slower tempo. Nice ball movement by Rio Hondo. Pulls up for the two and misses. Defensive rebound. Diamato driving up to the court. Looking for the pass. Great ball Playing ball inside the downs. paint. Pulls up for the layup. Misses. Oh, grabs his rebound. own rebound. Foul on the play. Foul on Rio Ando. First team foul for the Rio Hondos. We got Jalen Horn, number 22, coming up to the line. Misses the first one. Well, now you got to focus up. He go, He should knock down the next one now. Real good free throw shooter. Prepping for his second shot. Oh, wow. And misses the second one. Defensive rebound, awesome. Riondo. Now, is that, is that kind of unusual for him to miss two consecutive? Oh, yeah. Oh, kickball. Oh, good D. By Aaron Last Olsen. ball touched by Santa Ana. Still Rio Ando's possession. We have 15-30 remaining on the first half. Your Dons are Shot leading 4-3. to three. As we see them reset play here. Actually, 22 on the shot clock. Okay. Right. Rio Hondo taking a little bit of a slower pace. Likes to play the deep ball. Number 11 drives in. Misses. San Ana with the rebound. The Dons are out. Fast break. Number 15, Horn. Olsen. Shot by Pulls Jelani. Up. Misses. Rio Hondo with the defensive rebound. Comes up the court. Okay, man, the man to man, man to man defense. Okay, kick out. Pulls up for the two, misses. And Defensive rebound, rebound for number 22. Looking for the man, Diamato. Passes out for the three, misses. Out of bounds, last touch on Santa Ana. Seems like we can't buy a bucket tonight, Josh. That's true. They're going back and forth <laughs> at it, not connecting whatsoever. Still 4-3, folks. Still 4-3. Lots of physicality between the two. Lots of man-to-man. -man. Right, right. So we got on the in the game. Taryn Masigal and Ramon. Being heavily pressured by San Ana. San Ana's defense looks very... Very tight, well together. Rionda misses the easy layup, gets his own rebound, and they score. Rionda leading five to four with 14 minutes remaining. 
Travel called by Santa Ana College. Looks like it was from number five. Ronnie Ellison. Uh, travel called here by Santa, and it looks like Santa Ana calls a 30-second timeout here. As we see both squads talking over, seeing how they can produce some some scoring here early in the first half. Right, Josh. Now, if you were if you were playing today's game, what what were you tell your what were you tell your guys right now? How would you get the that episode, that offense hot and started? What would you do? Um. I'd huddle us up and tell us just calm down and run the plays. If we run the plays, right, absolutely. The lanes, yep, the lanes will be open that you want. The scoring, the scoring lanes, the open shots, the dumbs down, the dishes, all of those are wide open. All they need to do is just slow down. They slow down, they'll break away. Absolutely. Once, the, once we get the misses, then we have a fast break. Then we run it down. Absolutely. We're on out here, back in action. Looking for this oh, good open defense. man. Oh, with the steal, Taren. Steal with the Santa Ana, number three. Driving into the paint, lays it up, and scores. That's a nice layup. Ramon Lopez with the easy, fast break layup. Your Don's leading six to five. Riano pulls up for the three, misses. Santa Ana with the rebound. Another rebound by Taren Masigal. Lopez driving it up the court. Pass swings out. Lopez mishandles that pass and out of bounds. Rio on his ball. He should have shot that ball, Josh. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Rio Ando, early pressure. Just trying to look for an easy play. Pulls oh, up, block. misses. And foul against Rio Ando, San Ana Don's possession. Twelve fifty-seven remaining, still a low-scoring game. We're San Ana Don's leading six to five. We got Lopez driving up the court, calling the play. Let's see what we do. Let's see if we can get some penetration. Pulls up for the two, misses, the offensive rebound. rebound. Looks for the man inside. Way to bring it out, way to be smart. The resets play here for your San Ana Dons. Lopez, a little, miss, little mishap, shoots for the three, misses. Rio Ando with the rebound. Oh, good, good steal, good tip back. Loses the ball, Santa Ana College looks for the open man. Drives the paint, misses. Maybe just a little bit too much. A little too fast on the fast break. This is an opportunity. Rio Ando, still oh, struggling. The finds the man and they score. Rio Ando leads seven to six. And that's why communication is key, Josh. Absolutely. And Anna College looking, trying to look for their rhythm. Find the open man. Pulls up for a three, misses. Offensive rebound, Lopez shoots for the three. And makes it. Santa Ana leads nine to seven with 11.25 remaining in the first half. Rio Ando. Looking for the open man, can't seem to find it. Pulls up for the two, makes it in. That's a good Tie game here, 11 minutes remaining. You can see both teams are really going at it, playing tight on the defense here. With Santa missing, losing the ball, turnover. Rio Ando pulls up for the two, misses, grabs their offensive rebound. Pulls That's up tough. and scores. That's a big body bucket down there. 
Absolutely. Rio Ando leading 11 to 9. Santa Ana looks like they need to slow their tempo. Look for a scoring opportunity. Good shot, Taryn. Money. Pulls up, misses. Wow, we cannot buy a bucket. Oh, Scrambling for the ball, grabs it. Looks for the outside, drives in the paint, lays it up, misses. Grabs the offensive. Lopez with the three, misses. Riondo with the rebound. Fast break on the other end. Riondo pulls up for the three, misses. San Ana College with the rebound. Back to back of straight misses, Josh. Back to back, absolutely. Oh, little mishap with the ball. Drives in, misses. And they're all good looks. Looks like. Foul on subs. The play. As we get fresh new legs in for the San Ana Dons and for Rio Ando. Possession for San Ana. See if they can look for any. And he picks, finds a man inside, loses the ball, and Rio Ando with the ball. Concentration, Josh. Absolutely. Concentration is the word for the night. Absolutely, absolutely. Early turnovers here on throughout the game today. A lot of open shots being missed early on. Right, right. But it's still tight, tight game. San Ana College. Lopez passes and misses. Out of bounds, Santa Ana. Little miscommunication down Little there miscommunication, between Ramon and Ronnie. Absolutely. Was looking for Ellison, but appeared to be tied up. Rionda drives up the court. Oh, nice Loses track. Nice tip, but is does remain for Rio Ando. Well, the day, the day, well, it's not, it's not easy at all. I'm not right. Gonna, <laughs> I'm Absolutely. Not there long, I can imagine the amount of pressure that you as practicing as a student and as a, as an athlete. Um, so I can imagine that's that takes a toll on you. Yeah. All the hours you dedicate to practice hours you dedicate for homework as well right as we see a foul here on San Ana took a hard foul for Riondo first team foul for the Dons Riondo will inbound the ball It's a personal foul on Sean Givens here. Rihanna inbounds it but loses it and turns it over. And gets him, Sean gets the foul right back. Great way to make up for it, Sean. Again, thank you for joining us here today. San Ana College Dons facing the Rio Ando Gauchos here today on this Wednesday evening. Again, my name's Josh Garcia. My special guest with me, I have Jeremiah. That's a rush pass. Just calm down, make the right pass. Absolutely, they're, looks like they get a little little antsy, little like to rush the play. Yeah, right, right. Looks like they need a Slow down their possessions, take their time. As Rio Ando looks for the inside man, lays it up, misses with the block. Santa Ana. The court, Lopez. Lopez. Givens with the ball, drives in the paint, lays it up, misses. Rio Ando with the offensive rebound. Santa pokes it away, but 
Riondo with the possession. San Anadon still leading 21 to 17. Four minutes, six seconds. Riondo pulls up, misses, grabs the offensive bound, looks for the man inside the paint, misses. San Anadon College with the defensive rebound. Lopez looking for open play. Drives in the pan, makes it. Right off the dribble. Makes the two-point layup. Increases the lead for San Anadon College. Your San Anadon College Zons lead it 23-17. That was a nice drive by Ramon Lopez. That was an absolutely wonderful play by Lopez. Looking for the inside lane. Driving it in, makes an easy score. Rio Ando continues with the shooting struggles. Anadons. Lopez passes it to Givens. Passes it to Olsen. Back to Lopez. Pulls up with the three. Misses. Riondo with the offensive re defensive rebound. Riondo still looking for for more points add to their sub coming in for Ramon Lopez and Taylor Siegel. Ronnie Ellison and Nick D'Amato. Riondo inbounds the ball. Looking for the outside. Number 44 for Riondo. Passes out to 14. Misses. Santa coming up with the ball. D'Amato drives into the paint. Shoots. And gets fouled on the play. Way to be aggressive and looking for your shot. More Nick is more of a pass first point guard. He has he has great vision and a high IQ, but he passes up a lot of shots. Absolutely. Shoots the first two free throws, makes it. Makes 24-17. Diamato pulls up, misses second free throw. Rio Ando with the rebound. Number 11 for Rio Ando passes it to number number 14. Number 14 drives in, passes it to 44, lays it up, misses. Santa Ana College with the defensive rebound. Looks for Diamato, passes out. Givens pulls up for the three and makes it. 27-17. The Dons with a 10-point advantage with less than two minutes remaining in the first half. Great set shot by Sean Givens. Absolutely. Riondo continues with the shooting struggles on the offensive side of the court. Santa Ana looks like they're Control, taking control of this game. Shoots up for the three, misses. Rionda with the defensive rebound. Rionda with the short shot, makes it. Still trail the Dons by eight points. Santa Ana shoots, Great gets rebound. offensive rebound, and foul on the call. Way to be aggressive on the way up. Looks like foul on Rio Ando. Looks like it'll be inbounded by... 
Don's leading this game 27 to 19 over Rio Ando College. Less than a minute remaining. Looking to add more points to their lead. Ellison passes it out to Diamato. Diamato looks for Lopez. Lopez with the three. Misses. And another Santa another offensive. Diamato thinking for the three. Doesn't do it. We'll try to get the last shot here. Diamato. Lopez. Lopez driving in. Drives it out. Shoots Great for the three shot. and makes it. Don's lead, 30 to 19 over Rio Ando. As we have the final seconds closing, Rio Ando does not score on their possession. We close out the first half. Santa Ana leading this game, 30 to 19 over Rio Ando College. Absolutely. Very entertaining first half, as you can see. Yeah, started off really shaky. Started off really Very slow, back and forth right. during most of the first half. With the Dons taking advantage the final few minutes. As we take a break here, this first half. We'll come back to you later in the second half. You're watching Santa Ana College men's basketball here today. And we'll be right back. It's always been a dream for me to be able to play like college softball. Like I never would have thought I would have been here at Santa Ana. And it really meant a lot to me when I found out I got the scholarship. Scholarship money is a huge, big asset and benefit to our student athletes here at Santa Ana College. But we can imagine the burden that the student athletes have. They're spending like close to six, seven hours a day with softball regarding games and traveling and things of that nature, and also be a full-time student. Out of our 22 players, 20 of them have jobs. Having to work during season is like the most stressful thing, and so having a scholarship, I don't have to worry about like having a little part-time job to make sure I have food or could buy the things that I need. Now I can just focus on softball and my academics. I believe Santa Ana College has more scholarships available than a lot of the other community colleges. I didn't even know that there were so many scholarships out there. I didn't even know there was that much money out there that people are willing to help you move forward in your academic career. Our coaches really emphasize like school always comes first. To them and to me, academics is like the most important thing. Like you've heard the saying, academic student first, student athlete. We're pushing importance of academics. After winning this scholarship, it really helped me because I was like, okay, if I really study hard, like. I'm going to get good things out of it. So I think it just motivated me in that aspect. I got 4.0s most of my time um, through college. When I went to the banquet, I was so grateful to be able to meet the people that are actually helping me move forward. They're really in it for the students and the athletes. One of the biggest contributions that you can make to help all of the student athletes so they can go further in their education, it will help them get to that next level. We all know that the more good there is out in this environment, it's gonna help everybody and everybody will benefit, especially our local community. People like me and other students who have low income families in the Santa Ana area, people who work really hard in school like should be rewarded. So I would just say thank you to all the donors because it really helps a lot of people in many ways. Welcome back to the second half of today's game. Your Stan Ana Dons leading 30 to 19 over Rio Ando College. We're back 
in the second half. It's Josh Garcia commentating with me today. It's Jeremiah Moorhead. How you doing? Thank you guys? for joining me. Thank you for having me. It's been a very exciting game, obviously. Yeah. And we'll see if the Santa Ana Dons can capitalize this game, put it away. And for Rio Ando, struggling a bit offensively, see if they can get their stride. We can get a better shot. Oh, good hands. Santa Lopez, Lopez driving it up. And great finish. And makes by it for Tarrant. the two. Great finish. San Andon's leaving it 32 21 over Rio Ando. Great contest. Misses the open three. Santa with the rebound. Lopez mishandles the ball. Looks like it's Rio on its possession. And we got some, some first half stats. Your Santa Ana Dons. Leading scorers for the Dons is Diamante with six points. The with nine points in the game. Jalen Horn leading with the rebounds, 12 rebounds for the, today's game. Obviously, we can we notice um, Jelani Horn being very um, very included in this game. He's very producing numbers, very, very involved in this game. Very uh, crucial key to the puzzle, as I would say. How Absolutely, about that? very crucial puzzle piece. Very crucial on the boards, what, 17, 12 boards, 12 rebounds? Yeah, 12 rebounds, the first half. leading in the first half. Massengill looking for Diamato. And oh, Horn with the easy score, increasing the Don's lead. Score is 34-21 for the Don's. Oh, good Up hands. by 13. Horn past Massengill. Back to Horn. Back to Massengill. Mishandles it. Turns it over. That's why it's never good to overpass. Once you get to that pain, it's always good to look for a bucket. Always look to score. Absolutely. Full court vision. Riondo. Playing the paint. Shoots. Santa Ana, last ball. Still Rio on his possession. Massengill comes out of the game. In for him is Innocencio. Riondo. Will floor. inbound the ball. On the floor right now we have Aaron Olsen, Jelani Horn, Nick D'Amato, Sean Givens, and Antonio Inacio. Santa Ana oh, with the me, defensive Inocencio. rebound. Dry meeting up the court. D'Amato drives into the paint with the hard foul and a charge against Santa Ana. Riondo with possession. Diamato with the charging foul. Riondo. Looking to find its groove. Santa Ana would be in a zone here, 2 3 zone. Forcing Rio Hondo to shoot the ball because they're really not great shooters. Early on with the shooting struggles for Rio Ando. Pulls up for the two, air balls it. Diamato drives up to the court towards the paint, kicks it out. 
with the three. Great makes shot. it with the three. Another three by Sean Givens. Increases the lead for your San Anadons. Riondo puts two on the board. But Santa is still leading this game, 37-23. 16-15 remaining in the quarter, in the first half, second half. Diamato looking for the open man. Given shoots it, misses, grabs the offensive board, shoots it, Horn with the charging foul. I'm not an official, Josh, but I, I wouldn't agree with that one. Absolutely. As you can see, the clear frustrations from Coach Bree. As Ruanda drives up with the ball. Ruanda calling out plays, trying to space out their players. San Diego College with the foul. On end, number 35. On number Anthony. 15, Olsen. Riondo still with possession of the ball. Inbounds it. Riondo pulls up for the three. Misses. Horn with the offensive rebound. With the ball now, Olsen. Olsen looking to shake off his defender and is fouled. Riondo with the foul. Olsen looking to inbound it. Looking for the open man. Passes it to Lopez. Lopez dribbling it. Lopez drives in, passes it to Olsen. Olsen kicks it out. Givens Great shot. makes the two. Makes it 39 to 23. 15 minutes remaining on the second half. Riondo drives in the paint, makes it. That's a good move by number 55. Olsen, Olsen looking to make a pass in the paint. Kicks it out, makes the three. Makes it 42 to 25. Things are really starting to pick up here. Right, he's been working on a shot. Oh yeah, and another turnover. Riondo with the throwaway. Possession goes to Santa Ana College. Now, in your uh, in your opinion, for your um, for your team, who do you who do you think sticks out as a leader, or as um, the one that takes charge, or who you think is a uh, as a good uh, good person that you trust within the team? Um, there's really two. It's number three. I would say number three, Ramon Lopez, Ramon Lopez. and number thirty-three. They have a really great character. You know, you don't want to follow anybody or you don't want to trust anybody with bad character. Absolutely. And they're really great on the floor, really smart basketball players, really good basketball players. I can imagine the, the kind of leadership they bring to the team in the locker room. Right. As well. <laughs> it's a very funny dude too, man. Very funny guys. As we see, Santa Ana College inbounds it to Horn. Misses, but it's fouled on the play. Foul against Rio Ondo. Great way to go up strong so he can get that foul. 
And Jelani Thorne at the free throw line. We'll shoot two here. Makes there the first go. basket. Makes it 44 to 27 for the Dons. 13.45 remaining in the second half. Misses the second one. Riondo with the quick transition. Mishandles the ball. But regains possession. Riondo looking to make a big play here. So three misses. Givens with the rebound. Passes it to Lopez. Lopez drives it in. Handles it, kicks it out to Horn. Horn misses the three. Riondo with the quick fast break. Lays it in. Last touch. By the Dons. By Santa Ana. Still Riondo's possession. As we see Riondo spacing out the floor, drives in the paint, makes it two. Makes it 43-29. Santa Ana misses the three. Great offensive rebound by Sean Gibbons. Lopez, Massengill passes to Horn. Horn. Misses the dunk. Very impressive jump by Horn. But just misses the easy, easy dunk. Yeah. Now it's going to be a free throw for Rionda. As we see Rio Ando with the possession. Drives up the paint, passes it. Charging foul called against Rio Ando. Fantastic. Way to be smart. Santa Rio Ana Rio. with the possession now. A very smart play by the Dons. Taking that charge from Rio Ando. Turning it over. Your Dons are leading 43-29 over Rio Ando. 12-32 remaining in the second half. Let's see if we as can we pull away, make another run. As we see Allison pass it to Lopez. Lopez back to Allison. Lopez with the ball. Passes that to Ellison. Ellison shoots it. Misses it. Foul called on the play. And it'll be against Santa Ana. <laughs> Possession for Rio Ando. Currently on the floor, Massengill, Lopez, Ellison, Horn, and Danke. Riondo shoots it easy too, misses. Santa Ana College with the defensive rebound. Allison makes it in for the easy score. Santa Ana now leads it 45 to 29. 16 point lead. Ramon with a little showboat on the other end. Riondo plays it in. Guys makes it. And a timeout for Rio High. And timeout by Santa Ana College here. 
Don's leading the game 45 to 31 over Rio Ando. 11.32 remaining in this second half. Now we're starting to see the second half. Both teams are starting to pick it up now. Right. Compared to first half, back and forth, missed shots, but now second half looking a lot more interesting. Yeah, a lot more easy buckets, a lot, a lot of easier, yeah. Easy Absolutely. buckets, wide open buckets. All just off penetration and kicking. Absolutely. Connecting shots, making plays. Protecting the basket right, right. defensively for the Dons. Now for you guys, how do you, year after year, obviously you have new guys coming in, old guys leaving. How do you guys build that chemistry early on as a team? Um, we usually do, uh, we usually see or have an idea who's coming in. Um, in the spring, so we usually have spring practices and spring scrimmages, you know, just to see what everybody does and see pretty much who they are. It's kind of like an interview, but it's not. <laughs> right, right, absolutely. <laughs> you know, you just get to exploit your talent and, you know, get to know new people and see if, you know, see if, you know, if you're a good fit. Absolutely. As we see Elson in the paint, misses Riondo nice with the John. rebound. Riondo looking up, score some points. Misses. Great Horn block. with the absolutely monster block. Riondo shoots it, misses, grabs the offensive. Misses again, foul on the play. Looks like it's a foul against Riondo here. I got, my apologies against Santa Ana. As we see Donicky and Lopez come out of the game. Diamato and Givens coming on. It's going to be Joando. First shot misses. Great foul by the Dons. And misses the second shot. 0 for 2 at the line. Another rebound for Jelani Horn. Santa Ana looking to close out this game. Increase the lead against this Rio Ando team. Horn drives in the basket. Makes the two. Makes it 49-31 for the Don. Riondo turns over the ball, mishandled. Dons are starting to get a feel later on in the game. 47-31, 10-23 left. As Diamato dribbles it up the court, passes it to Horn. Horn, studying his opponent, pulls up for the two, misses. Riondo with the defensive rebound. Foul on the play against Santa Ana College on number 33. Rio on the free throw line to shoot two. Misses the free throw. Santa Ana with the defensive rebound. Turns it over, Rio Ando. Running back. Rio Ando, point on the board. Misses the three. Givens with the rebound. Ellison. Lays it up, misses. Riondo with the rebound. Fast break. Passes it out. Riondo drives it in the paint. Misses. Second 
with a minor scuffle on the floor. As we see Massengill showing his leadership, going after that ball, obviously, not giving up on the play. Right, right. And we see Rio Ando come up to the line, shoot two free throws. Makes the first free throw. Don still lead, 47 to 32. And makes the second one. Cuts down the lead to 14. Still the trail the Dons at the second half. 9.25 remaining, Massengill. Looking for the open man. Still Santa Ana's ball. As we get in some substitutions here. Ramon subs in for Ronnie Ellison. Lopez with the inbound. Trips and falls. A little bit too fast there. Riondo lays it up. Foul on the play with on Massengill. Riondo once again back to the line. To shoot the one. Two free throws. A lot of fouls there, um, in the second half. Right? Absolutely. A lot more physical between right. the two. Right, right. As Riohano makes the first free throw. Cuts down the lead to 13. 9-12 remaining. Makes the second free throw. Don's leading this game 47 to 35. Horn floats it in the paint, misses. Don's are starting to get a little bit rushed, John. They're starting to get a little bit out of control. Looks, looks like they're a little s slowing down on their pace. Starting to lose focus for the Dons. Riondo trying to cut into this deficit, the second half. Struggling a bit offensively on the first half. Pulls up three, misses. Riondo with the offensive rebound. Slows down the pace, resets shot clock. Play. Trying to bring this team back. Drives in the paint, misses. Grabs their own board, misses again, fouled on the play. A lot of physicality down there. A lot of fouls not getting called. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I like how the refs are just letting, it, letting the men play. As we see Riondo back to the free throw line. Makes the first one. Cuts the lean down to 11. Top rebounders in the game, Jelani Horn and Taryn Massengill. Makes the second free throw. Cuts the deficit down to 10. Finally a foul for the Dons. After a heavily much favored Rio Ando side. Diamato inbounds the pass. Massengill loses a bit. Gains control. Passes to Horn. Great hustle. Back to Lopez. They reset themselves. 
Lopez looking at driving the paint. Massengill, easy layup for the score. Don's 49, Rio Ando 37. And it looks like it's going to be a foul on Massengill, fourth of the game. Five fouls and he's fouled out. As Riondo makes the first free throw. Massengill, obviously a leader for this team, for the Santa Ana Dons. Playing very physical during this game. As the second free throw is made. Santa Ana Dons, 49, Rio Ando, 39. 7.32 remaining on the second half. Lopez looking for the open guy. Massengill sets the screen. Doesn't complete it. Rio Ando drives in the paint. Cuts the deficit down to eight. And Santa Ana Dons call a timeout. Eight point game, 49-41. Coach Brig not looking too happy right now. Yeah. He's gonna he's most likely telling them slow down. Gotta run the plays, the layups and free throws. We're up. We're not the ones down, we're the ones winning. Absolutely. Looking no to, need to rush. Looking to re regain focus for his for his team. We have a timeout right now, 714 remaining. Don's leading 49 to 41 over Rio Ando. Now covering the topic on Coach Brig, um, obviously his coaching staff as well, Coach Cooper and Coach Hollis. Um, what do you like the most about that coaching staff? Like, what it, you what can you describe them in one word? Man, there's a lot of great words. Um, <laughs> um, I would well, say. Well, give me give me a few words. How about uh, that? Very caring, caring okay. and understanding. He's a, he really did a great job picking his coaching staff. Absolutely. Yeah, Coach B. All they're all willing to teach you the game and how. Really help you improve to be the best basketball player that you can be, and Absolutely. that's why I feel like he did a great job picking his coaching staff because a lot of there are a lot of coaches that are just here for the money. Absolutely, you can tell you can tell the difference. Very genuine too. There we go. Another word is genuine. That, really that genuine. As well, as Horn steals the ball, fast break, Diamato with the easy layup. Great steal by Jelani Horn. Puts the Dons up by 10 again. 6.38 remaining in the second half. The pressure is, is building up for this Rio Ando squad as the easy dunk for Rio Ando. Cuts it down. Foul on the play. As Massengill comes back into the game with 625 left. Absolutely. Just slow Lopez. down, team. Driving up the court. Horn kicks it out to Massengill. Massengill back to Horn. Horn passes it to D'Amato. Horn drives in the paint, hook shots it, makes it in. Very nice move, very aggressive. Looking to come back, pulls up for the three, misses, grabs the offensive board, puts it in. Cutting down the lead. Down by eight. 
30 remaining. Horn drives it in the paint, lobs it, misses. Looks like there's a final play. And a great traveling call by the ref. Looks like a travel call. Possession for Santa Ana College. Givens passes it to Lopez. Lopez floats it off the backboard. Makes it 55-45 for the Dons. Up by 10 once again. Second half. Rio Ando, once again, looking to cut this deficit. Great defense by the Dons. Diamato with the steal, fast break, lays it up, makes it. Great finish. Dons lead it 57-45. Timeout by Rio Ando, less than five minutes remaining. Score is 40, 57 45. 4 49 minutes left. Very, very tight coverage by Santa Ana. Very back and forth. Right, right. It was looking kind of shaky. Great and steals by both teams, obviously. Right, right. It's also very important to also convert, put points up on the board. Right, it's good to extend that lead. And as both teams. Talk it over. Now, um, for your plans after SAG, what what plans do you have? Obviously, you're a sophomore. Um, do you do you have any schools in mind do you, that you like playing that you'd want to play for, um, yeah, or anything about anything you want to pursue? Uh, right now, uh, I plan on well after SAG. Well, how about this? I want to graduate. I'm going to graduate uh, absolutely. with my AA degree in. Uh, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Rihanna makes the three. Ramon kind of shaky getting up. Um, I thought about going to Arizona State. Arizona State. Plan uh plan for them or Arizona, Kansas. Um, just those are some of the schools, and I thought about some HBCUs. Narrowed it down. Here, Absolutely. And I plan on um, continuing my continuing my major in uh, business, but I'm going to minor it and switch my uh, switch my major to communications. Awesome. That's really good. Nice, nice Division One schools that you houses on the NCAA. Right, right. As Riondo. With the layup and then Horn. Goaltending. For goaltending. Called on Jelani Horn. Cuts the lead down for Rio Ando. But, but you're done, still leading. 57 to 50. With four minutes remaining in the second half. Diamato. That's it. Diamato with the ball. Pass it to Githens. Githens back to Horn. Horn pulls up for the jumper. Misses. Massengill. Offensive rebound. Misses it. Fight for the ball. Rio Ando comes up with it. Lays it in. It is now a five point game. Cuns. Cuts the deficit down for Rio Ando. Don still leading 57 to 52. 324 remaining. Defense is key, Josh. 
Absolutely. You These final the seconds. Stops. Right, right. It's very crucial for defense, for, for either team to close it out, make those big plays. Right. And, uh, you know, obviously score it. Make those reads, make those plays. Yeah, right, right. Set those screens. Be aggressive, but you also always have to stay smart. Absolutely. You don't need dumb plays in especially times like this. Now they done just turned it into a game. Absolutely. So let's see if we can pull it out. Let's see if we're going to pull it out tonight. As we see both teams break here. It's going to be possession for the Santa Ana Dons. As Ellison inbounds it to Diamato. Diamato dribbling it up court. Play here, back to Ellison. Diamato, back to Ellison. Back to Givens. Back to Ellison. Looking for the open man. Diamato pulls up for the two. That's a great Makes shot. it in. Good move it, by Nick. Makes it 59-52 for your Dons. Rio Ando looking for that play. Still fighting. Pulls up for the three. Makes it in. Cuts the lead down. 240 remaining. Dons up by four. Looking to close out this game. Last touch by Rio Ando. Still Santa Ana's ball. Last minutes of the game, got to stay smart. Nothing but smart plays. Rio Ando applying pressure. Santa Ana looking to close out this game. We got substitutions for Rio Ando here. Coming in, number 14, Darren Curtis. So we got Lopez here, inbounding to Diamato. Back to Ellison. Taking his time with the ball. Elson back with the ball. Pass to Lopez. Lopez drives into the paint. Misses. Massengill. Riondo with the score. Cuts the lead down to two. Diamato. Elson. Back to Lopez. Lopez drives it in. Lays it up. Misses. But foul on the play. Way to be aggressive and a way to look for his shot. Absolutely. I'm only trying to make something happen as usual. Holding his head a little, colliding with Curtis for Rio Ando. Lopez up to the free throw line. And we'll take it. Makes the first one. Nah, a little ugly, but you know, we'll take it. We need it. 60 to 57. Don's lead by three. 159 remaining. Massengill. Getting up over there. Getting checked up. Lopez misses the second free throw. Less than two minutes remaining on the second half. Santa Ana leading by three. Riondo pulls up for the three, misses. Great box out by Sean, and it helps him get the rebound. Santa Ana looking to drive in. Finds Horn. Pulls it up, misses. Riondo oh, the with the need. rebound. Gotta finish those. 130 remaining. Riondo taking their time. 
looking to tie this game up. Riondo pulls up for the three, misses, resets. Riondo looking for that three, looking to tie this game. Drives it in and kicks it out, shoots the three, misses. Santa Ana with the rebound. Less than a minute remaining. Horn with the ball. And Santa Ana with the timeout. 48 seconds remaining. Up by three. We come this far. We came this far, Josh. Very, Let's see if we can pull it very out. Very intense game as, right. as we're seeing right now. A lot of pressure for both teams. Right, right. Obviously very, very emotional, very, very high spirited. Right. High spirited, I like the word. Very high spirited, yes, very. Now if you're the Santa Ana team, um, what are you looking to do here? What's what's kind of your thoughts, your final thoughts, these closing seconds? What would you do? Um, these closing seconds, I would just tell the team layups and free throws. Layups and free throws. We don't need any shots. We don't need any threes. If we, no, we don't need any threes. <laughs> if and anything and everything is to the bucket, to the rack, and if not, we're getting fouled and we're finishing our free throws and we're making our free throws to end the game. Absolutely. And then we coming down playing solid defense, hands up, no stupid, uh, no stupid turnovers, no stupid mistakes. We can't need it. We don't need it. Absolutely here. And for this Rio Ando squad, obviously struggles in the first half. Things look slow for them in the first half. Second half, picking things up, cutting the deficit down to three. Drive. Great foul. Gets fouled on the play. 43.5 remaining. And it looks like... Lopez up to the line. We'll shoot for two free throws. Makes the first one. Good shot. Lead up to four. We need one more. Looking to close it out here. Lopez. Finish your breakfast, Ramon. Makes yeah. the second one. Up to five now. 40 seconds remaining in the second half. Rio Hondo desperately trying to put points on the board. Throws it away, oh, yeah. turns it over. Possession for the Dons. Pressure getting to Rio Hondo. Let's see if the Santa Dons can here. Santa Ana here looking to close out the game. Not give any fouls. Rio Hondo fouls on the play. Remaining. The Dons still leading 62 57. Diamano takes the first one, misses. Rio Ando's ball. Bring up the ball. Rio Ando drives in the paint, makes it. Cuts down the lead to three. 20 seconds remaining. Immediately foul on the play. Lead still three for the Dons. Sean Given. Let's see if he closes out the game. Shoots, makes the first one. Up by four. He probably shoots a lot of them in practice. Makes it a perfect two for two. The Santa Ana Dons up by five. Rio Ando 
desperately looking for the shot. Shoots the three. Makes it down by two. Santa, timeout on the play. Downs are up very, by two. Very, very tight play. Uh, with a clutch as you, three. As you can see with the immediate timeout by Lopez there. Right. Granted for them. Coming down to the wire. 8.5 seconds remaining. Don's up 64-62. A very tight contest for both teams. All right. 64-62. Eight seconds left. Don's are up. Both teams with 10 fouls. 10 Don's, fouls. Don's looking to close out this game, not turn it over. Not throw it away. And Rio Ando looking to tie this game up. As both teams break up the huddle. Looks like Ellison getting ready to inbound the play. Ellison looking for someone. Lopez fouled immediately on the play. And he'll shoot two at the free throw line. Again, Josh, we need both. We're getting close, absolutely. Lopez. Lopez. Makes the first free throw. Up by three. One more free throw, I believe. Should put it away. 65, 62, seven seconds left. Lopez. Makes the, the second one. Up by four, Rio Ando with closing seconds, kicks it out with the three, misses. Santa Ana with the rebound. Fantastic. Holds on for the win. 66-62 for your Santa Ana Dons. Very intense, very physical game at the end. But it was, wasn't enough for Rio Ando as the Dons Hold on for the lead. And we thank you again. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Um, Jeremiah, thank you again for coming on. Appreciate it, Josh. It was thank a pleasure to talk me. with you today. Pleasure to sit next to you, man. Always. Thank you very much. This is Josh Garcia with the final score, 66 to 62 over the Dons.